Undercroft. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's go back, shall we? There's a sunk ship here. <laughs> we'll be back eventually. I do have to come back to kill the guy, so... For now, we need to figure out what we need to do with these scrolls. What's in here? I don't think I've ever gone in here. Oh, nothing. Well, there's that, I guess. Pardon me. Okay. So, now we're going back to all the way over here, aren't we? Yeah. That's a long way to walk, so... You cannot travel when enemies are nearby. you come from? Let's try that now. Say no. Here we go. Hey, it's hard to select Dongard because it's all the way down there. It's too bad you can't, like, rotate the map or something. I should probably save, huh? There we go. I trust your journey was successful. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. What? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. What are you doing? Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. No, it will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Well, that's not good. No, there is another way. The question is, 
How much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? I'll do anything I need to, yeah. I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. And how is this done? It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Okay. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Hmm. Find a moth's priest's... moth priest's knife. Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years. But, in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. You just got too excited, I'm guessing? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Hmm. Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Oh, the moths don't literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the moth priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. Interesting. By having the Ancestor Moths close to the Moth Priest, they can utilize the Conduit and share the Moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. And yet I'm going to do it in a matter of minutes. You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the ancestral chorus. Only one way to find out. You have a point. It is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future, and we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City, among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Altmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. And what was on the top floors? Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. 
These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls. Though in time, it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. Hmm. Good luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. Well, do you know where to get a draw knife? I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. <laughs> well, we need the knife first. But, yeah, I kind of agree with you there. Let's go, shall we? Now... Find the knife. I don't need that anymore. All right, so what are we doing? Um, kill the master vampire of that cave. There's something over here. Find a moth priest's knife. You're supposed to, oh, here's an, no. I don't see the other, because there's that one for the... Where's the ancient stuff? Hmm. I only see those two quests. Interesting. Well, I tell you what, let's go over to Falkreath and we'll see if we can't find Ancestor Glade and locate a knife, shall we? I, well, I'll tell you what, let's go home first. I'll come at it from my house. But I'm going to unload some of the stuff I've been carrying as well. That nose guard kind of looks like a horse's snout a little bit. Wow. That is a serious moon. Either that thing is huge or it is really close. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Uh, I live here? I don't know, maybe we're not on the same page with that, but we really should be. Okay. So there's all of that stuff. What else do I have in here? Scrolls. Did I pick up? No, I didn't pick up any. Um... It's nice being home after being uh, gone for so long. Alright, let's put some of this up, shall we? somewhere. I guess I could put it here. That actually looks pretty slick. Uh, 
I get a sneaking suspicion he should be up on top of the table. Okay. So here is ore and leather. Got to get used to what I'm doing again. This is soul gems. is money. Oh, what did I just drop in there? Arvax skull. I'll take that with me. How much does Arvax skull weigh? Four pounds. Can I? It's pretty neat. That looks like a interesting horse's skull. carrying around that's so heavy. I got all this paper. Well, I got one paper. I guess this armor and some weaponry that I don't need, which is over here, I believe. Mm -hmm. Archery and that. Sorry. Weaponry. Those are this. Oh, I can't drop that. Okay. So now we're back down to 92. Excellent. Alright. Shit, I thought that was a dude. I was like, oh! Get out of my house! That's my purse! I don't know you! Alright. So now we're going to the... Ancestor Glade? Ancient Glade? I forget. But apparently there's going to be a dagger there. So let's hoof it, shall we? Is it up the mountain, maybe? side do I should I come from where am I I don't I definitely don't want that oh it is it is literally straight ahead but there's a road like right here oh well look at that it's almost as if I was going the right direction this. Oh. What? Good try, though. You made it! Shall we continue? I did lose... Oh no, this is the road. I was going to say, I lost the road! had just butchered that elf. Who's there? Nobody anymore. 
anymore. Oh, she was chasing the fox. reminds me a lot of the uh, 10,000 steps or 5,000 steps place. Ancestor Glade. I'm looking for a draw knife. Very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are gonna have some words when we get back. I trust him enough about stuff like this. Well, oh, here we go. This is a bit more impressive. Wow. Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Let's let's head down the stairs for the intended path, shall we? Heated pool. Oops, sorry. Let's put that away so I don't do that again. Ah. Well, we got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those tentacle trees. What do you bet it's these white ones? Yeah. Oh, hello. I hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to glimmer. That's kind of cool. There's two. Three. Ah, here we go. Whoa. I think that might have been what we were waiting for. Let's head back up there and see if we can make the scrolls.
enter the column, and read the scroll. So was that awesome or what? Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Wow, I'm glad he knew that. Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Okay. Not much. If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. The way I've heard it, the sun represents the connection from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. Shit! 